The Supreme Court upholding Texas's new abortion law banning terminations once a fetal heartbeat is detected, usually around six weeks. President Biden blasting the decision as an assault on women's rights and White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki snapping at a reporter from a Catholic news network who questioned his stance. Why does the president support abortion when his own Catholic faith teaches abortion is morally wrong? Well, he believes that it's a woman's right, it's a woman's body, and it's her choice. Why does the president, who does he believe then should look out for the unborn child? I know you've never faced those choices, nor have you ever been pregnant, but for women out there who have faced those choices, this is an incredibly difficult thing. The president believes their rights should be respected. Here to react is Lila Rose, the president of pro-life group Live Action and the author of Fighting for Life. Good morning to you, Lila. Cheers. Good morning. Good morning. What was your reaction to the way Jen Psaki responded to this reporter who works for uh, EWTN, the Catholic Network? Mm -hmm. Well, it's clearly a sexist response, which is ironic coming from someone whose boss is a man. Um, she's saying, because you're a man, you're not allowed to ask this question. You've never been pregnant. And, you know, her boss, President Biden, who's weighing in on a Texas heartbeat abortion law, is also a man. But that's kind of beside the point. I mean, the bottom line is this. The president's job as our elected leader, our chief official in this country, is to defend the rights of Americans, not to stand against the most vulnerable Americans' rights, which are children in the womb. And Texas has decided, which is their right, to protect those citizens, to protect protect those members of their state. And Biden is coming out to you know, blasting them for it. So it's really ironic that someone who says he's a Catholic and also whose job is to defend the common welfare is actually working actively against our most vulnerable Americans, the unborn. I mean, Lila, you wrote the book Fighting for Life. So what was your reaction when the Supreme Court said this week, we're not going to get involved? We, we were thrilled at that reaction. I mean, this likely would not have happened with a different composition of a court. I mean, we have now justices who seem to be sympathetic to that first human right, which is life. It's a constitutionally protected right. And so we're really excited to see the fact that the, the Supreme Court passed, at least for now, on looking at Texas's law and have allowed it to remain in effect. Listen, every single day, that the heartbeat law is in effect in Texas. Over 100 lives of children are saved. Uh, clinics have shut down. They have pulled back their hours, abortion clinics. And meanwhile, you have 164 pregnancy resource centers open in Texas who are helping women with their children, with their pregnancies, helping them choose life. So it's a wonderful day for the pro-life fight. Lila, how did you get so involved in this mission? I mean, you wrote a book about it. You've made it your life's work. I got involved because I learned about the problem. I mean, once you find out about the crisis of abortion, you learn about human development in the womb, the heart beating at just three and a half weeks, brain waves forming by just six weeks. You see the humanity of the child, and then you learn the death toll. Listen, today in, a, in our country, 2,300 children are killed every single day by abortion. It's the leading death toll, more than COVID, heart disease, cancer, any other cause of death. Once you see the human rights of the child and you see that abortion doesn't empower women, it hurts us. It's devastating for us. You recognize that we have to, I had to get in the fight. And so I'm determined, like the rest of the pro-life movement, to bring this all the way to the end to complete legal protection for preborn children and a culture of life. It's a cultural change that we're fighting for as well. Yeah, I mean, other than learning about Christ, the best day of my life was when I held my baby. Are you, are you a mom? <laughs> I, I am, you know, pregnant right now, due oh, in two months, and have another another little boy. Yes, and I completely agree. And we're fighting oh. for a future where they're safe. Yeah, they're safe, just as safe as anyone else. Best day of my life. Thank you so much. Great to talk to you. Have Thank a good you, weekend. Ainsley. Thank you.